The government of Guyana, through the Ministry of Health, has begun the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccination program across the country. Priorities given to individuals 60 years and older, healthcare and frontline workers, persons with comorbidities, members of parliament and other government officials. So far, Guyana has benefited from 3,000 doses of vaccines from the government of Barbados, 20,000 doses from the People's Republic of China and another 80,000 doses from the government of India. A number of healthcare workers were vaccinated from the first batch of vaccines received from Barbados and continue to benefit from the other donations. His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali, First Lady Mrs. Arya Ali, Prime Minister the Honorable Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips and his wife Mrs. Mignon Bowen Phillips, and Vice President the Honorable Dr. Bar Jagdio were among those who benefited from the most recent batch of vaccines. President Ali, after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine on Friday, in a message to the nation, encouraged everyone to get vaccinated. Whilst it is not mandatory, I want to urge you as far as possible to consider taking the vaccine. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that it will help us as we all work together in getting ahead of this pandemic. I also want to assure every Guyanese that we are sparing no resources in having every single Guyanese vaccinated before the end of the year. President Ali says his government continues to reach out to suppliers around the world, including those in the United Arab Emirates, to source more of the COVID vaccines. He also noted the global shortage of these vaccines. It is important for us to ensure that we explore every avenue in having access to these vaccines in a speedy manner and ensuring that it fits into our plan of having the entire country vaccinated before the end of the year. So you can rest assured that we're going to continue to work aggressively on this. Meanwhile, senior citizens on the Essequibo coast along the east bank of Demerara in New Amsterdam and Skelden Burbies, among other areas, turned out in their numbers this week at the vaccination sites to get their first doses. They also encouraged others to do the same. I'm glad that I took it because of the COVID, the pandemic. Everybody wants, you know, it to go. So I'm very happy that I took it. I want to move about. I want life to come back as normal. I want to travel. So that's more important why I took it. From the time I heard about this sick, about a year ago, I will say a year ago, I was so scared of this, and I always tell myself, but when, if anything come about for this sick, I will go and try my best to be in the front line to take it. I take the vaccine because I want to be safe from this COVID-19 pandemic that's affecting our country, Guyana, and the whole world. I thought it was um, worse than this, but it went on so good, you know. I saw the needle and I was afraid, but it's okay. We never had a vaccine before, so all I got to say is that I, we must thank the government tremendously for, you know, going out in such a, a good way, and we enjoy it, we accept it. My wife is here with me, so just the two of us in the house who are over 60. But when we get home back, we'll, once everything goes okay, we'll contact all the people we know, there's over 60. We we'll try to advise them that it's, it's happening at New Amsterdam Hospital. They need to come and take the vaccine. It's a must, right, to prevent you from getting COVID-19. I, I say it's necessary. Based on information I, that I read, the more, therefore, if I want to live in my normal span of time, then I decide to take the vaccine, which would give me that time to continue to live until I'm ready to die. Without the vaccine, I believe my life would be shorter. I want to protect myself, and I want to protect my family, and other people around me. My name is Lionel James. I would like other people to take the vaccine, just as how I take. No side effect, because I ain't got no problem or so. My name is Jasu Jaglal, and today I took the the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine. I would like to encourage persons to come and get the vaccine because it's very easy. You don't feel a thing. And 
it's very simple. Why did you decide to take it? Why? Well, because of the protection it offers. Uh, you, I don't want to be hospitalized and things like that. You would encourage other people to come as well? Of course. In fact, I, I asked somebody to come, an elderly or a relative. I decided that I take this vaccine because, first and foremost, my health comes first. Now, it is better for you to be vaccinated. And whatever is the side effects of the vaccine, you deal with that. But if you are not vaccinated, then the possibility is that COVID can be the reality and COVID is a very serious and a very dangerous thing. And each and every person should at least try as much as possible to protect themselves, protect their family, protect their friends, protect everyone that they come in contact with. And if we are vaccinated and we are free from the disease, then we will be safe for our community. Individuals also took the opportunity to get vaccinated at a testing site located in the compound of the Ministry of Health on Brigdam. DPI spoke to some of them, including a Venezuelan migrant. I take the vaccine for protect me for the COVID-19. Just my wife, I, I go encourage you to come this afternoon. I decided to take the vaccine, principally not to end up in hospital on a ventilator, uh, to give me freedom to be not infectious to anybody else, and ultimately to travel as well. I'm happy to have this vaccine because it's important that we all look after ourselves, you know. But I'm grateful for my vaccination, so at least I can travel and go see my grandson. Don't mind dying, but I don't want to be sick. And also as like responsibility to my fellow citizens. I don't know if it's herd immunity is going to work. And so, you know, like, I don't want to give anything to Guyana. So one does have to be responsible, as the other gentleman said. I think it's the right and sensible thing to do uh, to deal with the uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic. Guyana is set to receive over 104,000 doses of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine through the COVAX facility. Another 149,000 doses are expected under an agreement brokered between CARICOM and the African Union.